a major inspiration we can get from China-U.S. relations over the past 45 years is that when we work together, both countries and peoples will fare well. But when we turn against each other, both sides and the world will suffer. Cooperation is the only right choice. As the top two engines of world economic growth, China and the United States take up over one-third of the global economy and about one-fifth of the global trade. Any decoupling between us would only make the world poorer. Over the past 45 years, our two-way trade expanded over 200 times, surpassing 600 billion US dollars annually. In the first seven months of this year, our two-way trade grew 4.1% when denominated in IMB. Therefore, we are already deeply intertwined and basically inseparable from each other. In the face of the new circumstances and challenges, scapegoating solves no problem, and trade war, industrial war, or tech war produces no winner. As the new round of scientific and technological revolution and industrial transformation is unfolding, all countries are on a boat sailing upstream. Only when we face the challenges squarely, make ourselves more competitive, and paddle together can we ride the tide and forge ahead. China and the United States should respect each other's right to development, uphold reciprocity and mutual benefit, and find solutions through dialogue and consultation. We need to both expand cooperation in traditional areas, including economy, trade, and agriculture, and nurture cooperation in new areas, such as climate change and AI, so that both our countries and the world will come out as winners.